Hey there, Internet. So this is a time-lapse video of a pencil study I did of Congressman John Lewis, who died of uh, it was pancreatic cancer, which is sad. Um, he's been around a while in terms of my social political awareness. Um, and... Uh, oh a huge influence. Also, my acquaintance Nathan Powell had the distinctive honor of getting to illustrate his journey in a three-part graphic novel you should really check out. Um, March. Uh, yeah, pancreatic cancer. It's just confirming. Um, this is like a drop lead with a red, red lead, and then I go back in with graphite and I'll use some big fat pencils at the end. I think the first time I uh, tried to draw him. I don't think I've ever tried to draw him before. Doing portraits is an interesting specialized area of study, but one that every artist who wants to have a firm grasp of likenesses should do. Um, I, I worked on that a lot for my comics and was always a little dissatisfied and what I ended up doing it really pushed me over the 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 line of being comfortable with being able to capture likeness uh, with confidence was I put a book plate in my book Dream Life uh, that include a portrait window and then every time someone bought it off me at, at signings I would have to draw a sketch of them and I did you know f hundreds and hundreds over 500 portraits at this point and all done sp speed portraits too quick studies which really forces you to s not second guess yourself and just go um i went from being 15 to 30 minutes per sketch at the very beginning which was unacceptable but quickly was able to get that up and then increase my accuracy over time um so i could now do them between 10 and 15 minutes depending on how much detail I put in uh, I've gotten some really nice ones that are even faster than that just by keeping it really simple but this was not this is an hour-long drawing session uh, and here I was more trying to capture his personality and um, gravitas the quant unquantifiables. You see I'm using a big kneadable gray eraser there. That's uh, my preference for all erasing and I don't erase everything. I want to leave some trace so I can see what it is I'm revising on. If I can't see it's often I'm more likely to repeat my mistakes. The, the marks tell you how to fix themselves if you're paying attention, if you listen. I'm doing a lot of hatching and shading it's directional, trying to follow the topological contours of the surface of his skin, um, doing values. Mostly, I think, um, I was thinking about using blue as well in this, but I ended up just using the red and black. Um, it was like I got a, a hard and fixed plan. It was an impulse. Um, Francis Van Stone had done a portrait of him, but I didn't feel like doing exactly the photos she had. So I decided to go off and do my own. Found a different picture. Getting his neck in there. And then big, simple, clean line shapes for his jacket. And I simplified the background too. There's a a statue of Martin Luther King behind him and I'll just rough that in very loosely kind of like the idea of being out of focus um, which it is in the photo too uh, just hinting at it I'm gonna put the slow version of this with a sound as a patron only tutorial video If you're interested, 
you want to learn about your drawing and stuff, I'm also going to start hosting uh, gesture drawing workshops and other kinds of wor uh, workshops via Zoom. I'm figuring out pricing right now, what to charge for them. There'll be like the gesture workshop, I'm thinking of four classes, a set of four classes that people could either pay just attend one or pay for the whole series. And they'll just be kind of intensive crash courses on how I, I recommend doing gesture and studying it from dynamic subjects. In fact, sometimes even moving video subjects to really challenge yourself. But uh, always from uh, figures in motion. Not that you don't do gesture of static figures too, but to study it and capture uh, movement and figure out how things work. I have to apologize, my hair keeps getting in the shot, but with the camera angle to see the paper. I have the camera real close. I've zoomed in here too, by the way. I figured, because we're doing time lapse, you don't need to see. All of me. Yakking. Again, you'll you'll see, hear me talking and stuff. The audio isn't fantastic because I have to have run the AC. I've just turned it off for the four minutes to do this voiceover. But it's hot today, so I have the AC on. So the full-length video is a little less acoustically delightful. But it's full of mumblings and ramblings about technique and how I'm drawing things and figuring stuff out. This is making process. Slightly soft. I like to work from like somewhere between H, HB, to uh, you know, no softer than a four B usually. Sometimes a six B, but that's rare. I also like the black wings, uh, the palominos, and some. Uh, I forget what the silver ones are. Silver ones, and they're they're great for expressive work. That's sort of like what you would do if you were inking. So we are zoom back out. You see the whole thing coming together. Pretty soon I'm going to switch to a big fat pencil. I'm going to sharpen it in a, a desk mounted exacto hand crank sharpener and that's what I'm doing right there and partially it's so that it gives it a really smooth edge and I can use the side of the blade like that and knock in big values real fast and do scumbling nice. I'm here I'm doing some extra toning too on his face. Getting the last touches in real quick. I wish he could have died seeing a, a more complete future of the dream. There's been a lot of fighting in the streets for it, but it is not there yet. I would have liked to have seen him, seen things end on a happier note. Long live John Lewis and uh, Black Lives Matter, but his life especially. <laughs> <laughs>